historical society. That's it, huh? Looks kinda, uh, exactly like a haunted house. Well, you're looking for a ghost, right? Yeah. So how are we doing this? You're going to hold the flashlight while I pick this lock. Hey, you want to shine that light down here? Cool, thanks. Oh my god, what was that? What the fuck? Okay, there's something up there. Hold you. Alright, let's finish this. Also, watch my back. Basically, do both. Oh, this is really tense. Hey, you up there. Oh, fuck! It's an owl. It's a real pissed off owl. Freaking owl. Are you okay? I think so. That was dangerous. What was his effing deal? So we're in the basement. What are we actually looking for, by the way? The map room. And some off-limits area? Technically, all of this is an off-limits area right now. True, dude. True. Is that like two elevators? And not like old ones. Locked, too. Geez, maybe this place is all elevators. Weird. Why would you have two? One for the ghosts and one for the normies. Private rooftop ghost party. With a ghost pool. I hope you get squished by the elevator. I hope your head gets stuck in the door and gets chopped off. I hope you fall down an elevator shaft. I hope you get trapped in a dark elevator filled with water and an angry shark. <laughs> like crap, dude, that's... <laughs> Here we go. Hey, where's the flashlight? Crap. I left it outside. Dude, you were being attacked by an owl. <laughs> These stairs are original to the house and are not functional at this time. The hell are non-functioning stairs? Elevator number three. Looks like it's not locked either. Elevators for miles, dude. Yeah, this is weird. Why do I have to go first? Your ghost. Okay, fine. It's not even real. What? Dude, really? What the hell is that? Do you have your knife? Yeah. Wait, is the assumption that I'm gonna stab someone, is that the plan now? No, I mean just in case. The basement door locked behind us. Oh, right. Crap. Oh, hey. Possum Massacre. Oh, nice. You remember this, right? Oh well, nothing weird here. Educational, even. I feel like we're getting smarter. My brain is too huge as it is, dude. Gonna pop. If that happens, I'm leaving your headless corpse here. Ha ha ha, they'll be so freaked out in the morning. Nah. Holy crap, is that elevator number four? Granddad would be complaining about local tax dollars right now. Uh, that is not cool. You're kidding me. Elevator number five. Hmm, locked. I think this is as high as we're going without picking some locks, so... Aw, crap. You're kidding me. Drop the lockpick stuff out back. You're kidding me. I was being attacked by an owl! Okay, sorry. Can you, like, improvise? Uh, need some pliers, and... Got a paperclip? This is so stupid. This is like work. This is all work. Did you hear that? Yeah, didn't sound like a person. Okay, well, yeah, let's find the paperclip. Well, that's the easy part, I guess. Yeah, pliers are going to be a bit more tricky to find. Oh, wait, we're in the map room. Here's the graveyard. Hey, it's my neighborhood. That's cute. Oh, wow. that's real cute. Ooh. That creepy noise again. In this room. Ooh. Oh, it's alive. Jeez, that thing's ugly. This was the source of the noise, I guess. Mystery solved. Wait, no. If it was making that noise, that means that someone was in here while we were walking around. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's maybe go. Hey, check it out, toolbox. Hey, some pliers. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Let's get that elevator open and see what's upstairs. And I guess it's like 12 more elevators. Uh, dude, need to hurry. What? Someone's coming. They're in the hallway downstairs. Crap, okay, I'll have it done in. Oh god. Uh, dude, the elevator. Shit, shit. Hurry. There, I got it. 
go, 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 go. Why did we go downstairs? Dude, none of this makes sense. The question I have is, where does that one go? Okay. Crimes? Crimes. Ooh, shit. Oh, I'm gonna keep picking. We don't know where this is gonna go. Any better ideas? Dude, clearly I don't. This is new. They have an elevator that goes from the basement to the attic with no stops in between. What the actual crap? Quick, let's find a way out. Oh my god. What is this place? Forbidden Zone. Are they starting like a weird art museum? This is bad art. Shit, dude. The elevator. Why do I know this painting? Dude, come on. Greg, just jump out the window. Hurry! Go, 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 go. Oh, son of a bitch! Greg, where'd you go? Steps just ended. You gotta jump. <laughs> Ow. You believe me now? I believe we almost got caught by a security guard or something. No, I'm telling you, I can, like, feel it. Okay, fine. Ghost. Ghost security guard. Sorry about all of this. You crashed your bike, got mauled by an owl, broke through a window, and jumped off a fire escape. Nah, dude, it wasn't nothing. You're a really good friend, Greg. <sighs> Rhymes. Rhymes. Looks like a black goat. You look really worn out. Yeah. <laughs> the Dracula teeth and the football helmet. Oh yeah, the horns here. And <laughs> the murder axe. Awfully sparse compared to the previous dreams. There's that spooky moon again. Hello? Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing here I've thought to talk to. Are you... God? No. Oh. So... Seconds ago, little creatures are coming. They are asking if I am God. I am asking what God is, and they are telling me, and I am not this God, and this God is nowhere. Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess. Little creatures are explaining faith, and moments ago is the beginning, and I am here then and here now. And there is nowhere for God to be hiding. So what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are you? What are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? A great beast is walking through the sands, and they are climbing into the air, and now they are making a tear, and now they are gone, and now you are here. A tear? With their hooves. They are making a tear, little creatures are wandering through the air, and they are dragging in places and echoes of lives. They are asking me about God. My head hurts. I'm going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea, and beyond are things blind and terrible, and I am showing you now. Oh shit, what's happening? What the hell am I looking at? Ah, oh god, oh god. They are blind, but they are seeing you, and you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air and closing the sky. Closing the sky? Yes. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything, and it is always growing between the stars. I am seeing it. It is coming, and you are not escaping, and the universe is forgetting you, and the universe is being forgotten, and there is nothing to remember it, not even the things beyond, and now there is only the whole. So does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about my home? What about my friends? Soon they are dying. Soon they are rotting. You are atoms. Your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. And why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all of this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again, and the universe is forgetting you, and I am remembering you, but not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. Honey, are you okay? 
Ugh, mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? <laughs> no. You know, if you did have- Okay, I'm out. I think this is where we went with Jerem yesterday. Hey, Rabies. Who's a good little trash king? It's you. But tell me, Rabies. What do you make of this ghost stuff? It sure is something, eh? Oh yes, good point. Alright, I'm off. Stay safe, feed some trash. And common pests. Trash King Rape Peace. You look like you went through the dryer on the wrong setting. Uh huh, yeah, long week is all. Wanna hear a poem? Cheer you up. Life goes on, it feels so long, but I report life is too short. Uh huh. Here's another happy one. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Thank you, Selmers. They cheer you up? They did. May. Mr. Chaskov. You look a bit worse for wear today, May. Oh, I'm fine. Here to see some stars? Edna Astra. Had a journey to the frozen lake. She traversed unknown faraway lands. I was very into Edna stories when I was a kid. In her quest, turned her back on the sky and journeyed down into the earth. She was never seen again. Disappearing isn't the same as dying. She probably went somewhere else completely. And did all kinds of cool shit. Oh my. Yeah, so whatever. Cole the Mountaineer. He dreamed of mountains and devoted his life to climbing them. As his hometown was flat, he returned home and complained that the sky felt heavy. He had been up into the clouds and now they rested hard upon him. That's a really specific complaint. That's all for the day. Are you still having headaches? Yeah, but being out and about helps. It feels weird being here today. Like, there's so much empty space. Like, come on, things have been rough lately. I can see that. That seems to be the trouble. I think I met God. What? It was like the shore of this giant black ocean. I could see, like, forever into the sky, and below it was just sand. As far as I can... And there was God, just sitting there up on another hill. Or dune, whatever. Just hanging out? It seemed like they were really into just hanging out. Did they say anything? Yeah. They, like, didn't care. They didn't care if you were there? No, I mean, they didn't care, in general. They went on and on about how annoyed they were that people kept coming to them with questions, and annoyed that anyone thought they were God to begin with. Well, I don't think that was God, then. Why? If something tells you it isn't God, you should probably believe it. No, what I mean is that the thing we call God isn't God. It's just a thing, and it doesn't care. Hmm. They kept talking about how nothing matters, like the universe is ending, and everything is being forgotten. That sounds very lonely. Have you been feeling lonely lately? No, I mean, I've got friends. I've been with them every day since I got home. But, hmm, there's this deep down loneliness been there for years since, well, just been a long time. I've been there. I mean, I'm there all the time. I think that's where, if we open ourselves up, God can enter our lives most effectively. I don't think I believe in God anymore. You want the truth? I think everyone doesn't believe in God for at least a few minutes a day. Hmm. Faith is a process. You have to keep getting up and choosing to go on. You really think there's a God? Like, literally someone up there listening. Is that something you completely believe? Hmm. I don't know. Oh. On my best days, I think I do. But there are times where I don't. But, but you stand up there every Sunday and tell people you do. Even you're not sure? It's your job to believe. Well, I think it's more my job to serve others. But you're lying to people. How? You stand up there and tell people to believe in something you don't 100% believe in yourself. Maybe you're right, May. And maybe I should get up there every week and give some sort of tally of how much I believed that week. But who would that help? You're a pastor. And you can't tell me whether or not God is up there. Whether anyone is watching. Anyone who gives a shit. No, but... What is the point of you? He's May Harsh. I have to go. If you're not having an existential crisis half the time, are you really a teenager? Hey, can you do me a favor? Sure. You tell Pastor Kate something for me. Sure. But don't tell her this till tomorrow. Can you do that? Sure. Tell her I said thank you. I'm sorry I caused her trouble. But I'm not worth throwing away her job. She's the pastor, after all. Folks need her. Are you leaving? Yep. Gonna hop a train tonight. Headed east. Where will you go? I'm going home. Wow, really? Never gonna touch a bottle again. Never gonna lift a hand to no man again. Sit on my daughter's front porch, watch my grandbabies play in the yard. They'll all be there. Gonna get off that train. My kids are gonna be there. They'll have a sign they made. 
Nothing fancy. Poster board markers. Welcome home, Dad. That sounds great, Bruce. Yup, yup. Thanks for talking to me. It was nice to get to know you. You too, Bruce. Gonna miss you. We'll all meet again. I hope so. Hope's important. It's the last thing you got. You take care of yourself. You too, May. I'll be fine, you know. I'm an old hand at this. Maybe older than I should have ever got to. But I'll be fine. See you around, Bruce. Goodbye, May. Still up here? I mean, I left and went to work and so forth since we met. Hmm. Is that a fiddle? It's a violin. That's like the same thing, right? It's a violin, I assure you. I just met someone else playing by themselves. Really? Yeah, across town in the abandoned building by the click clack. He had one of those big saxophones. Hmm. I just thought it was an interesting coincidence. Small town. Hey kid, what you up to? Hey adult, nothing. Sounds good. Wanna go down to the tracks? Did you wanna come? My friend Casey used to come out here and smoke. He used to smoke when I was younger. Oh really? Okay, it was once. I was younger though. I was 12. Good age to quit. I could vape. You could vape. I'm not gonna vape. Probably a good idea. Wow, that got topical. <laughs> um, so do you remember this thing we squished on the tracks last time? Uh, yeah. What are we doing? Gonna make it flatter? Kinda, but no. You'll see. I'm gonna pick a new thing to squish him with. You ever think about murdering someone? I, like, okay, so... A few longest nights ago I went to Bright Harbor with my aunt and cousin. We went on the subway. And, like, there's no railing down there above the tracks. And I had this sudden urge to, like, shove someone off it. It was weird and I felt guilty about it for a long time. But, like, I didn't actually do it, so... I mean, is that normal? I think that's pretty normal. I guess you actually did try to kill someone. No, I didn't. A lot of people think so. Yeah, well, a lot of people are really stupid. You know what I like? Tacos. Pictures of the meteor that killed the dinosaurs. Where the dinosaurs are watching it in the sky. Oh yeah, that's like every single picture of that meteor. Weird. Wonder if they knew. Okay, let's see what we got. Yay. Oh god, your little dudes are... It like hurts my soul. It speaks. The art speaks, May. It calls my name. Uh, that was cool. Yeah, it was. I gotta get going. Things are, like, hectic right now. Oh, what's up? Uh, jeez. Oh god, I don't even know where to start. Just, like, be careful. Alright. Thanks for the warning. About whatever you're warning me about. Whoa. Hi again. It's you, kid. I'm actually 20. You know, that guy across town? What guy? The guy I told you about. Yeah? He seems lonely, and you seem lonely. Um, you two could play together. Uh, did I make this weird? No, it's fine. What's he play? Violin? Fiddle? Are they the same? Huh, okay. Hey, B. Hey. You alright? You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. Wanna talk about it? Nah. Hey, dude. Totally what's up? Nothing. You okay? Yep. Okay. Sorry, don't mind me. God, why is everyone depressed today? Hey. Hey, Angel, this is my friend May. Hey, May, what's up? Have you heard anything about a ghost in town? Angel has indeed. He was just talking about it before you got here. Really? Yeah, nobody ever stops here because of it. But the dumb ones say the ghost grabs the good people. I ain't good, so I got nothing to fear. Good by what standard? Damned if I know, bro, but here's what I'll do. I don't believe in ghosts, but I know there's a god up there watching out for all their children down here. And I'll say seven prayers for you. And that'll keep that nasty ghost at bay. Wow, thanks. That is, like, sincerely very kind of you. Nah, nah, it's a cold world. Run by the worst people. And good men die for god knows what reason. We gotta take on, like, duties for one another, you know? Yeah, thanks again. What's traveling like? It's good, it's good. Never could stay in one spot. I have the exact opposite problem. Alright, partner, it's time for me to shove off. See ya, Angel. Stay safe. Adios. Something bad's coming. I know. It's a ghost germ. A real-life ghost. Like there aren't ghosts. Ghosts aren't a thing. How do you know? My brother would have visited. Ooh. Jeez. Oh, dinner time. See ya. What's up, duder? Hey. How you holding up? Surviving. Had the weirdest dream last night. Really? I met God. Jeez. And they were kind of an asshole. Huh. Yep, that's how my week is going. Can I offer you a complimentary slushy? 
replace the idea of a caring god? I can throw in some chips. Aha, uh -huh, I'm good. So what's up? You wanna hang out? Yeah, man, let's roll. Ah, oh, so this is the thing? This is the thing. Ah, oh, it's kind of our sun. It kind of smells weird. So what are we doing tonight? I don't know, we have B's car. Oh, really? We should go to Donut Wolf. Oh, yeah. They got pancakes now. Fine. Ride the chariot <laughs> to Donut Hell. <laughs> Legends. I believe B lent us her car. And that's all the people I've kissed. That's two people. Kinda. One and a half. <laughs> Whatever, like your average is any better. Angus, you've been really quiet. Sorry. You okay? We're gonna get pancakes. Mm, that's concerning. Hey, Angus. Angus. Hey. Gonna get them flapjacks. Angus. Shh. Paging Dr. Jackson. Dr. Flap Jackson, please report to my belly. <laughs> okay, yes, pancakes. Dude. Dude. Oh. That didn't sound good. God damn it. Whoa, did we get a flat tire? I'm pulling over. No, Donut Wolf. May. You don't drive on a flat. Why? Yeah, why? You just don't, it messes up the wheel or something. How do you know so much about cars? We can fix it. With what? We gonna get some sticks? No, I mean, people fix tires. It's a thing people do. It's a thing people do when they have a goddamn tire. Guys, why are you being such a dick? Why am I the one that has to be the responsible one? Guys, what, May? Don't yell at May. Uh, I'm gonna wander. Fine. Fine. Okay, uh, these guys, this is like the perfect place to dump a body. Good body dump in woods. Maybe I can whittle a wrench out of a log. We could call someone. Oh, do we suddenly carry phones? Because there's magically signal now in this piece of shit town? Jeez. Hey, dinguses. What? There's a spare tire back here. Anyone know how to, like, do the tire? Yeah. Can I help? No. Dude, May, you're not a bad person, but I do not trust you with any part of this process. Finally here. Yup. Oh yeah, that wolf of the donut. <laughs> this employee looks so unhappy to be here. Welcome to Donut Wolf, home of the Slammer Cake, now featuring pancakes with special Hal and Mad maple syrup. How would you like to ride the chariot today? We'll take half a dozen go-nuts. Dude, we should get chariot wheels. We got chariot wheels last time. I want Slammer Cakes. Actually, we are out of Slammer Cakes. What? How can you be out of Slammer Cakes? That's like half the reason to come here. Okay, we'll take half a dozen chariot wheels. Ooh, would you like them with eternity sauce? No. All right, all right, I'll take six doom nuts. Are those new? Limited edition, ma'am. And no eternity sauce. Last time I had that, I stayed up all night digging a hole in our backyard. They found me asleep in the morning at the bottom of a hole. I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. You okay there, May? This blows. Why are things weird? Why doesn't this feel good? Everything's stupid. I'm going to break something. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, God. <laughs> what the fuck, May? Dude, stop. What the hell? What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Okay, why are you doing this? Do I need a reason? Yeah, I kind of think you do. Kind of a weird question, but did you go before you decided to trash the bathroom, or... God, Greg, I didn't even have to go. Okay, jeez. I do now. <laughs> we have a table for when you're done. Leave. Right, okay. <laughs> let's just eat. Yes, please, let's eat. Have donuts ever made you think twice? No. Greg, you're awful quiet. Just eating. You've never had a problem talking and eating at the same time. Oh, donut sick already. It smells. Dude. Donut wolf? The robot thing. I thought you'd like it. I smell and you like me. Yeah, to both of those things. Greg spent a lot of time and effort on that robot. Because he thought you'd love it. 
No, he did it because it was fun. No matter what could happen. Jeez. Oof, feeling woozy. I guess you're being rude. I'm being rude. We're trying to get out of here. Both working our asses off, and you come waltzing back into town, and suddenly Greg is breaking into grocery stores. Abandoned ones. And like stealing car batteries. Abandoned ones. And messing up our already crappy apartment. Hey, dude, come on. Wait, how is this my fault? Whatever, I'm eating. Ooh, that's too many donuts, May. Oh, sweet cripes, I'm falling into the sky. Ugh, it was all weird colored. Puke usually isn't that color. It was like, multiple colors. You okay, May? Yeah, no, ugh. My mouth tastes like broken dreams. I'm really mad at you two. Why? I hate awkward silences. Am I like ruining your lives or something? Just tell me if I am instead of whatever this is. Do you not like me anymore, Angus? What? No, May, I like you fine. Why are you being weird then? Angus, I'll take this. Thanks, hon. May I remember my uncle? Sheep farm out past Brittle, out by the interstate. Yeah, kinda. When I was like eight, my parents got sick of me and made me spend like a month there in the summer. And I spent the whole time following him around. Sheep are nice. I got a pet one once. Sheep are real dumb is what they are. One afternoon before dinner, my uncle left me by the pen and for some reason I opened the gate. Why? I have no idea. Kids are like sheep. Real dumb. They so are. So a bunch of the sheep basically immediately bolted and I chased after being all, you dumbass sheep. You tried, bug. They ran across the field and into the woods, and there was this really steep hill that went down to the interstate. Oh, oh no. What happened? Four got splattered by a semi-truck. Some ran back up the hill, but three made it over the median and across to the other side, and they just stopped. I got to the bottom of the hill by the road, which was like covered in sheep guts and parts. Urgh. We just looked at each other across the interstate, me waving my hands. Two ran hit back, got hit by another truck. God! The other one, he ran down the hill on the other side into the woods. No one ever saw him again. Jeez, dude. Hey, your tattoo. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh, I sleuthed the meaning. Poor sheep. But if I was in their position, I'd have run too. I want to be the one that got away. I want Angus to come with me. I, like, failed those sheep. Just like, you know, everything has failed us. No one even denies it. No one tries to talk you out of leaving here. And yeah, being the only queer people in town sucks. I'm here. You already left once. But I'm back. I can't stay. We can't stay. I guess. I love Angus. I love both of you. Obviously in different ways. Thanks for clarifying. <laughs> we have a plan and we're working our asses off to make it happen. Two guys, full time, minimum wage. I have to grow up a bit. I did grow up a bit. May, you have to let me change. Sorry I was rude earlier. It's okay. Remember the time we almost burned down the school? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Fireworks. Student council poster. Just whoosh. God, that was a good night. Soaked from the sprinklers. Running through the parking lot. Laughing our asses off. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. That was maybe the best night of my entire life. One of the all-time greats. Kids still talk about it. That night lives on, man. Well, we can at least be legends. Forever. You up for one more big crime? You can come this time, Angus. Do a crime with us. I... Okay. Aw, Captain, Captain Criminal. Let's go. This thing is gonna really freak some kids out. Yeah, dude. They're gonna tell stories about this thing. They'll never know what it is or how it got here. You guys sure you're okay with it? Yeah, this is a good home for it. Leave it for the kids. Let it be a legend. Alright, well, moving on. Yep. They're just gonna leave the rabbit robot in the woods. Ooh, that's terrifying. Legends. Oh wow, are you okay? No. So what's going on? Where to even start? It's just... I've been having these dreams, and I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? And I've had these horrible nightmares that feel really real, and I think something really bad is going to happen. And I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff. And where's it all going? What even is my life right now? Why don't you get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. Anyway, I puked, and then we dropped a robot in the woods. Okay, I'm too sleepy to try to decipher that. Go to sleep. I'm going to sleep.